Viola. Okay, guys. Back. Me, I'm going to move that one over. That's what's up. Okay. Whoa, hello, Billy. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Let me just get one more thing and we've got it, I think. Mama. Oh, okay. Got everybody up and running here. Viola. <laughs> well, there's a new one. I got my sponges out and let's see. Eh, I think I need a new sponge. That one's, that one's had it. Got a little wafer sponges and I need to buy one. Yeah. A little wafers. <laughs> it down so the paint flows there we go start out with my yellow ochre again it's all the same theme a little bit here this is van dyke brown and yellow ochre <laughs> That's just a basic coat. There we are. Cool. Okay. Walk right in front of you here. I got to do one thing I forgot to do. Right in front of you. There we go. Okay. Hello, Merrick. Oh, how's everyone doing tonight? Hello, Larry. And Billy over there, too. So we got on both sides here. Oh. Hello, Brian. How are you doing? Oh, that's uh, that's Larry, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just going to start in on this thing.
kind of loosely basing it on a, over one tank, but it's going to be stylized and kind of a little more steampunky. Well, there you go. That was quality. <coughs> I already see that's going to be a problem. That's it's going to be impossible not to get that. So that's right. So we're going to change that a little bit. Sometimes if you just see right off, it's not going to work. Change it. Don't worry about it. You can always change it. Okay. These are going to be, this is, this is a definitely, definitely stylized World War One tank. <laughs> ah. Okay, so we're going to. Change this around here. <laughs> Hello, Diane. How are you doing? Hey, Pat. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Madonna. Room. <laughs> Room. Okay. I think I want to kind of get this a little more angled here. Probably widen those up a little bit too. Yeah, there we go. All right. Boom, ba -da -da, ba -da -da, boom. It's a very stylized World War One, just basic on this one. This is more. This is going to be more steampunkish. Oh, then greetings. <laughs> well, maybe we'll coordinate when we're on together or something. Yeah, yeah I kind of uh, ended doing the eleven o'clock ones on the weekend because it just didn't seem like it was working especially right now we're going into summer here that's uh, a lot of people are out and about and working on their yards or or whatever they're doing you know in fact i worked on the yard for several hours today i got all my dahlias planted so i'm kind of excited for that we're doing some work on this we're just getting the basic shape in right now. Uh 
Go. <laughs> <Cool. laughs> yeah, we're going to stylize this thing up completely here. Big one here, one over here. Like I said, this is, I'm not looking for accuracy here at all. There, just stylized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we should have an art bar. You know, different uh, art videos going on. You could go down there and have your beer and watch different uh, uh, artists. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, actually. So that, you know, for some of us are not enormous sports fans. <laughs> you know? We do have a bar in Portland that's called the Art Bar, but they don't do that. It's usually because it's it's connected with uh, the the theater there. All right. All right. Kind of got the basic shape in here. But you know, I have found. We want, oh, I'd love to have a piano bar and stuff like that. Everybody talks about that. Rarely does a piano bar make it. <laughs> okay. And I had some idea. I was looking through and I saw some cool concepts. So this thing's going to have great big Another turret back here. Now we're just getting total crazy fantasy now. Okay. Thank you. 
Well, there you go. That was a good bird. <laughs> All right, basic concept now underway. <laughs> ah. I'm lucky to know what season we're in. <laughs> I think baseball's going on right now, I think. I think basketball's still going on. That was always the thing about basketball. It seems like it goes on forever. <coughs> but if you enjoy doing that, that is no problem. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. That's the worst game I ever, I'm not talented when it comes to, the only time I actually caught a ball was when the ball, when the guy hit the ball and stuck in my face. And when I went down, the fact that it stuck in my face, they got me to catch. <laughs> That's the only ball I ever caught in my life. <laughs> okay. What's sad is. That's a true story. <laughs> it stuck. The way it stuck to my face. Yeah. You got it. That's what I'm going to do. Big bruise on my face. Yeah, we're going to order some paint. Ooh. Get low on canvases, get low on paint, too. So I've got to do some serious looking at some of my paintings that I have in storage here and start what ones are going to get sacrificed Don't think we're going to make that gun that big. Reduce that down. White. Ah, the wonders of live performance. You can see the mistake. <laughs> that thing's sticking out just a little too far. <coughs> I have a bump there. There we go. That looks more realistic. Right there. All right. Get that in here.
I didn't watch the coronation, and, it, and I did not watch the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> yeah, well. I think we're probably going to make these even wider. We'll call you Martha La Poo Poo. How's that, Billy? <laughs> And when I was in the army, I got expert with grenades, <laughs> tossing grenades. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when you have a grenade in your hand, you really want to get it out of your hands really quickly. <laughs> That's the truth. Whew. It's a little unnerving. <laughs> Talking to myself, whole conversation. Fresh and blue. Yeah. Well, since I wasn't being crowned, I decided it was boring. Yeah. <laughs> when I get crowned absolute emperor of the entire known universe and that but which lies beyond. Yeah, that'll be a coronation and a half. I want I want you to know that. Yeah. All right. Let's just start working on this. Got the basic shape down. We're gonna do a lot more work. And we'll start getting the idea of size. I'll have humans. Walk along the side of it. There's massive, massive machinery, you know. I think they should do it in the nude. I think that would really be interesting. Really give it a good twist, you know? Yeah. Just getting this sketched in.
King Charles. I'm not so sure I'd want to be uh, skiing or something like that. Because, oh, can you imagine? You can't. You have no <laughs> free will at all. You really don't. You think you have all these privileges. But you know, you can't you can't go to the grocery store. Huge mechanized machine. Yeah, it was actually built for um, uh, uh, George the Third. Yeah, I actually saw it. I've been I've been to Buckingham Palace, you know. So. <laughs> no, I guess the other carriages, uh, the Queen actually preferred because they were. Uh, This one's going to be a fun one. It has wildness to it. I dug in the dirt all day today, and I'm stiff and sore. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to be. I think I'm going to be stiff and sore tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's good for me. I was happy. I finally got my dahlias in. It's supposed to be hot this uh, this weekend coming up, so I want to it's rain tomorrow. So I got the fertilizers in and all that stuff. I, Put it on, on, on. Glory. King Charles. I think King Charles II lost his head, if I remember right. <laughs> yep. That was when they had the um, uh, sort of parliament, the Civil War and parliament. Uh, I think it's King Charles II or the first like, who lost their head. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, well.
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense where you live. Yeah. yeah. I don't have much grass, just a little patch in the front. I have a lot of gardens around here. Unfortunately, gardens get weeds. I have been weeding like mad, trying to catch them before they go to seed on me. Okay. I've had a couple of weeds that were so big that they had bark on them. You know what? You pull, you pull on that root system that goes down about half a mile. I should tell you. So like I said, this is gonna have a lot of detail on it. Anyway, we're just starting here. We're getting the basic first direction here. Yeah, every once in a while I have some of those uh, yeah. uh, uh Wilbertian Wilbertian, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um it's like a little teeny um uh oh gosh, I'm trying to think of the word. Uh oh what the heck is it? Oh, yeah, a thistle, Wilbertian thistle. And the thistles, it, it launches the thistles, and it actually is known to take out stars here. It's really an odd plant. I mean, each thistle weighs about 10 pounds, you know, and it, it, it brings it back, and then it launches it like a catapult, you know. Uh, we lose people every year to it, you know. But oh well, that's the way it is. Most of the people it takes out are really like anyway or care about, so I don't really care. Actually, let me see it a little better there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Get my big fat head out of the way here. All right, it's going to be a fun one. Mostly fantasy, loosely based.
that. Coming in with white. Same thing here. We're gonna have a sun coming this way. <coughs> oh, excuse me, goodness. Tread in there, or tracks, I should say. All right. Thinking that way, so we're gonna handle that. For... <coughs> Excuse me. Well, maybe more like this, so we could have a little bit of a shadow coming. Planting the shadows out here. Sit down for a second here. Take a look what thing monster we're coming up with here.
in there in that massive tread on this thing. Get done with this one. I plan on having it in the show coming up on the 20th, which is just less than two weeks away. And I think you can do it. I'm going to start making labels, get the sides painted on the ones that I don't have the sides painted on. I always tell them. Everybody, don't let that sit around for too long because before you know it, it's an absolute complete panic to try to get that done. <laughs> don't want to have to do that. Yeah, self inflicted. <laughs> I can't emphasize that enough. <laughs> Been there too many times. And says, why did you do this to yourself? You sit there and three o'clock in the morning comes around and you're still working on it. Oh, been there, been there, been there. Oh. Why did I do that to myself? I know better. <laughs> Big blob there. Always try to smooth those out. And I'll tell you what, the light catches them all the time. And you're just like, oh. Thank you, Larry.
trusty uh, sponge out here. A little more oak is still. Excuse me. goes by lickety split always. Yeah, we're going to add a lot of fun little details and stuff like that to this one. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well, where is it about there for this hour? Be back on tomorrow. fun with this definitely not a completely accurate <laughs> kind of steam powered and it's a massive mechanized equipment some ideas for this one kind of like i said this is more steam uh, steam there we go than, than the other one so i think well We'll have a lot of fun with this one. So I'll be back on tomorrow at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Savings Time. <laughs> after this, uh, I got to make sure everything's ready for the big switch out at the uh, bar. And then uh, we've been having a little bit of dispute over the timing of the show. So we'll get it all worked out. But uh, uh, and after that, I'm going to probably do a serious painting of a ship that a friend of mine wants me to paint. So I will probably get started on that. But I got to get the, the, the show up out of the way first, and then I'll get serious about that one. That's where we're at. This one has taken good shape here. All right. Well, you take care. Stay safe. Stay, stay healthy. Whoa. <laughs> Happy Sunday or Monday. It depends on where you're on this big marble. So have a great rest of your day or evening. And we'll really see you back on here tomorrow. Pacific Daylight Saving Times, 7 p.m. All right. Take care. Bye bye. Whoa. <laughs> Hey, right, thank you, Jamie. Sweet, sweet, sweet.